Hey guys, Lucky here, and today I want to talk about setting up your Kepler wallet from your TerraStation wallet, connecting it to the Osmo DEX, and then transferring over funds from your TerraStation wallet. So let's jump right into it. So keplr.app is the website where you can download the Kepler extension for Chrome. From there, you're going to want to download it and click the K once it's installed. And you're going to see a screen like this, the Kepler wallet for interchange. What you're going to want to do is import existing account. What's that doing is it's going to ask you for your mnemonic phrase from your Terra Station wallet, which then you can put in and have it connected through both wallets. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and stop the video here for a second. All right, guys. So after putting in your mnemonic phrase and setting up an account name and putting in a password, then what you can do is hit next and you'll see a screen like this where you're all set. So I'm going to hit done and I'm going to go to the Osmo Dex, so that's app.osmosis.zone and I'm actually going to connect that wallet that I just created. So I'm going to connect, I'm going to hit the Kepler browser extension it's going to open up my Kepler wallet. I'm going to hit approve. And now I am connected to my Terra Station wallet that I had. So the next steps around this is how do you transfer over your funds from the Terra Station wallet that you have? So I'm going to show you that in a couple easy steps. So how are you going to do that to get your money from the Terra Station wallet to the Kepler wallet? Is you're going to click Assets, and under Assets, you're going to see Terra UST or Terra Luna. So if you click Deposit, once you click that, you're going to get to a screen that's going to ask you to approve your wallet. So you hit Approve, and hit Approve again. And when you hit Deposit, you're going to see your balance now from the Terra Station wallet. So what I'm going to do is put, I'll move over $5. So I'm going to deposit $5. Get to a screen here. And it's, it's actually going to charge me Luna to move this over. So this is one key part that I need you guys to understand. If you don't have Luna in your wallet, you will not be able to send over the money. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pause the video, go put some Luna in so you guys can see this. Guys, all right, so I have bought some Luna and I'm now gonna deposit the UST. So I'm gonna click deposit. Uh, I'm gonna put $5, deposit. It's gonna open up that window. It's gonna charge me nine cents. I'm gonna hit approve. And it's processing. Now I have five UST dollars on my Kepler wallet. So if I go back to trade and I go to UST here, I should see. Uh, let me refresh this here in a second. Give me a second. Okay, I had to stop the video there because. The trick here is to refresh the site and what you'll see is then your or the five dollars that I moved in um, should pop up under the deposit and if I go to the trade now you will see under UST I have five UST to buy Osmo. So I'm going to stop it here. That is how you get UST or Luna or whatever other coin you have or token from your Terra Station wallet onto the Osmo platform. Check out my next video. I will talk about actually putting it into a stake to earn the APY of what Osmo is giving. See you guys later.